Hello everyone, happy Wednesday and welcome to another week's reading vlog. It is, like I said, Wednesday and it is about 8.30. I just got out of the shower. Um, in all honesty, I did record myself earlier editing last week's re reading vlog and saying hello and introducing the new vlog and what's gonna happen. And I think when I was uh, sending myself like those clips, I marked it for some reason as last week's clip and i just ended up deleting it so here we are saying hello again um this week i want to finish the vanishing stare by maureen johnson i'm 176 pages of the way through i do want to sit down and read this um which i'm going to after and then a couple of days ago i had my sister pick out three books from my bookshelf that i have had on my shelf for a very very long time um i gave her like seven to ten options she picked out three um one of them being renegades by marissa myers a girl made a a girl of paper and fire by natasha Ning, Ning. and then she also picked out scavenge the stars by tara sim which i had gotten i believe in my january owl crate unboxing i'll leave that unboxing somewhere on the eye so i'm gonna try to start this tonight and if not tonight then in the morning but i just wanted to say hello welcome to another week's rain vlog i'm currently right now burning a candle and watching season seven of real housewives of new jersey and i'm gonna start reading some um the vanishing stare i try to set myself goals like i want to read i want to at least get to 200 i'm on chapter 12 i want to at least get to 215 which is chapter 14 so my goal is to read at least two chapters but yeah that's it for right now and if i don't say anything later on tonight then i'll see you guys in the morning hello guys happy saturday and it is about to be 6 30 and i've been a horrible youtuber like i have been reading but i just haven't been vlogging because i'm not doing anything you know interesting but i got more packages <laughs> So my sneakers came in today. I ordered the red Harachis and the black Harachis. I got them. They're in my closet. I went to my sister's house today to help her wear her room and she ended up giving me stuff. So I have now this new texturing spray. This is sea salt hair from Measurable Differences. It's sea salt. You literally just spray it into your hair when I have it curly along with this Mr. Green dry oil spray. It smells actually really good. This is for you spray and massage it into your oil Massage the oil directly onto your skin for hair. Spray the oil into your palms and run through the tips of your hair. So you can do it for face or your hair for whatever's dry. So that's these two. And then I also got this um, stimulating hair oil. Gonna try it. So then my graphic novels that I was waiting for came. And I realized I messed up. I meant to order Giant's Day Volume 9 and 10. And I ended up ordering Giant's Day Volume 10 and 11 but i need nine for next month so now i need to read i now need to order volume nine so i got 10 11 because now i'm reading the the books and this one volume 11 is really thicker than the other ones and then i got monstrous volume three and we now finally got the news that there's going to be a monstrous volume five when you have two to read and then i got rat queens volume seven because i read every single one of them except for volume seven so then those and then let's do reading updates for the vanishing stair i'm finally on i'm finally on chapter 14 to 15 i do plan on reading more today i like finally sat down yesterday and read and she's getting more into working with the professor and the professor's telling her like listen there's a hidden tunnel in your house you need to find it because that's how something happened the night of the murder it's kind of not as interesting as the other the uh, the first book and i feel like it's gonna suffer from middle book syndrome like a lot of trilogies suffer from but yeah i'm home i'm gonna drink some coffee i'm gonna read more and i really really do need to start scavenge the stars today but i think that's all for right now and i'm gonna try to update you guys at four i mean not at four in like four hours so i'll see you guys later so this is the theme and these are the cards when a rich celebrity says that money doesn't buy happiness Eh. Mine's just corny too, though. The Starbucks versus face. What do you say, largest? I gotta go with Starbucks. Who's <laughs> Starbucks? It's me. Who's the Starbucks? Okay. Forever, my president.
Hello guys, happy Sunday. It is about 9.18. I literally just woke up out of sleep. Um, I did read a little bit last night. I read like 10 pages, but then I got so tired because I was helping my um, was helping my sister move stuff around in her house. And then I just, I was too tired. So it's Sunday. I do plan on reading more of um, Truly, not Truly Devious, The Vanishing Stare today. I do want to start Scavenge the Stars. I just honestly don't know how I'm going to start it via audiobook or physically reading because this month has literally been the month of audiobooks. That's how I've been finishing stuff. Like, I've been starting it um, physically and then finishing it audiobook. Audibly, um, I forgot to tell you guys what I bought. I caved in and I bought... The Ballad of Songbirds and Snake by Susan Collins, the technically prequel to The Hunger Games. This is, thank you, Mary. This follows President Snow. It says on the back, ambition will fuel, fuel him, competition will drive him, but power has its price. Um, it is the morning of the reaping that will kick off the 10th annual Hunger Game in the capital, 18-year-old core. Coriolanus Snow is preparing for his one shot of glory as a mentor in the games. The once mighty house of snow has fallen on hard times and its fate hanging on the slender chance that Cor Coriolanus will be able to out charm, outwit, and outmaneuver his fellow students to mentor the winning tribute. The odds are against him. He's been given the humanity assignment of mentoring the female di tribute from District 12, the lowest of the low. Their fates are now completely intertwined. Every choice Coriolanus makes could lead to favor or failure, triumph or ruin. Inside the arena, it will be a fight to the death. Outside the arena, Coriolanus starts to feel the doom of his tribute and must weigh his needs to follow the rules against his desire to survive no matter what it takes. Why are they so small? Because they're the small eggs. And then it comes with a poster of the 10th annual Hunger Games, and I kind of just want to rip this out already and hang it up. So yep, I caved in, I bought it. Do I know when I'm gonna read it? No. Am I gonna read it? Yes. But yeah, that's all for right now. I'm gonna eat my breakfast, my niece bought me, and check with you guys later. Okay guys, so it is now about to be like 10.30 and I wanted to update you guys because I did some reading of The Vanishing Stare. I'm now on chapter 19, page 279, and I have this much left. I wanna say I'm like 80% of the way done with the book. And oh my god, they found Ellie. Ellie is dead. She was hidden underneath the Minerva school, um, building with the sleeping bag. And it looks like she suffocated. And I don't know if like she died or if she was murdered. But this book just got so much interesting. And it's only like a little bit left. And I feel like Maureen Johnson does that with all of her books. That she leaves, like she has something happen right after the middle, like towards the end. That it sucks you in and you want to finish the last like hundred pages or so but then it leaves you just like oh my god how is she gonna like wrap this up i really am enjoying this um today i edited and scheduled my um updated funko pops which should be up right before this video i'm gonna stop reading for tonight and work on my review that i want to record and edit for my king's 100 um book review but yeah that's it for right now i wanted to update you guys say i'm reading i plan on probably finishing either the vanishing star later tonight because i'm probably gonna pull an all-nighter or probably tomorrow but yeah that's it right now i'll see you guys tomorrow morning hello everyone happy monday it is about three o'clock and i wanted to jump on here and say hello i wanted to update you guys when I woke up but when I woke up I started helping my little sister like clean up her room we rearranged it we had something new in so I didn't have a chance last night I did get to as you saw 75% away into truly not truly devious um the vanishing stare the second book in the truly truly devious um trilogy and I just um like that's when we found out Ellie died they don't know how she like found that tunnel they don't know how she got in that tunnel they don't know if she was suffocated or what but when i stopped reading last night um i had left off at the part where now we had learned from the previous like the original ellingham case with the headmistress of minerva was having an affair with the person who created ellingham academy albert and um 
this book got like really really intense really like I, I feel like she does this with this series because I've never read anything else from her I think except for like the short story she's done with Cassandra Clare but um yeah I really am enjoying this like really so far so I do plan on finishing today it's 75% I should finish it once I get into it I like pick up really really quick and then hopefully when I finish I can actually pick up um scavenge the stars or I honestly don't know I do know I need to start putting together my tbr for june i have no idea what i want to read i have no idea what i want to put on my tbr and i need to start planning out my june video so i think i'm gonna do that after i read or before i read but i mean i think i'm just gonna get a cup of coffee and read and i'll catch you guys later all right everyone so it is literally two hours later and i have just finished <laughs> the vanishing stare by maureen johnson and i'm gonna give this about a four out of five stars i did have trouble with the middle i do think that this book suffered a little bit from metal book syndrome but i did not expect for the twist to come with the original ellingham academy to happen i did not expect for the twist at the end to happen and i don't want to say a lot but I did not accept for George Marsh to be the person who did that to Iris and Alice. I do not think that the um the professor's nephew is the body that they found. I honestly have such a strong feeling that that body that they found is David's. But oh my, I I can't believe I did this. And I just realized when I was writing this down, like I write in a notebook all the books I read. This is the eighth book I finished this month. So now that I'm done with this, I'm going to put this away. I'm going to go eat some food and then watch some more Dance Moms and hopefully start, officially, officially start Scavenge with the Stars. But I did want to hop on and say that I finished this. And maybe not if Scavenge with the Stars, I'll probably read Rock Queen Volume 7 because I really do want to read that. But I'll let you guys know. I'm going to check in again when I make up my mind. Hello everyone! Happy Tuesday! It is about 11.30 and it is the last day for this weekly reading vlog before I wrap it up. I started last night after finishing The Vanishing Stare. I started Scavenge of Scar Stars by Tara Sim and I I literally just started. I'm only 12 pages in. Um, so far we meet a girl named Silverfish. Her real name is Amaya and she is on this boat with a bunch of other kids serving this drunken um captain to pay off i believe her parents death and um when the kids mess up more time is added on like when you start you have seven years i think is what she said and then every time you mess up more and more time is added on until you can go back home to your parents she has a couple of days before she can go home to her mother when she sees this guy floating in the middle of the sea the captain tells her to ignore him she ignores the captain saves him and has a month now added on to her service to him and it's very interesting the way it started because right from the jump she says my name is like silverfish i and i'm not supposed to remember my real name i like that it hooked me on so i'm gonna do some more reading of this and then i decided literally like a couple minutes ago i'm going to start rat queens volume seven i absolutely love rat queens it's one of my favorite graphic novels i feel like um i started reading this right after i picked up saga and i like drew me into more of the um like the graphic novel world it's been a really long time since i read volume six i believe when it got um released but with rat queens i have such a strong feeling i can jump back into it um no matter what it's a graphic novel i finish it in one day it takes me like two sittings to read because i do get up i have to move around i can't sit still while reading um but yeah this is like a cool ass like haunting graphic novel but yeah, I just want to hop on, tell you guys my reading plans. When I finish Rat Queens, I'm going to check in, and then I'll check in again right before I end up this vlog. So, I'll see you guys later. Alright guys, so it is about 3.30 right now, and I just have to say, I actually DNF'd Rat Queens Volume 7. I couldn't even get, like, t past 25% of this, and I just dnf'd it it is not like the other volumes that i enjoyed it's very b boring and i'm sad to say like um that i'm starting to notice that these volumes are getting boring i feel like they should have stopped at like volume five um and that's really sad because i i adore graphic novels after reading saga this was um actually the um 
not the next series I picked up and I never rarely DNF graphic novels. I finish it and the lowest I feel like I've ever rated a graphic novel is a three stars but because I DNF'd it I gave it a two stars. I said in my Goodreads review literally all I'm saying here as well and I maybe I'll pick it up but um yeah I, I, I DNF'd it and that rarely rarely freaking happens but um yeah I just want to say I DNF'd it and uh, I, I kind of don't know how to feel about that but um I'll see you guys when I wrap this up. All right, everyone, so it is about 8 o'clock, and I just decided why not just end this vlog right now. This week, I did end up finishing um, The Vanishing Stare by Maureen Johnson. I gave that a 4 out of 5 stars. I really did enjoy it. Some parts really did bother me. I still do believe that it suffered middle book syndrome. I tried and ended up seeing nothing Rat Queens Volume 7, and I started and I'm starting to enjoy um, Scavenge the Stars by Tara Sim. All in all, it was an okay reading week. It wasn't one of my best, but it always gets like this towards the end of the month when I'm just like reading whatever I want after I read majority of my like TBR books. But yeah, that is all for this week's reading vlog. I'll be reading in here two videos and as you go, you guys should go check out. I try my hardest to post three times a week and I'll see you guys very soon with a book review. Bye guys.